No, we haven't. There's a human face behind all of these stories. It's not just a number, a kid who costs a lot to the district. New Mexico is struggling to raise graduation rates and the proficiencies of all students in math and reading. But students with special needs face even greater challenges. Federal legislation, including the Individuals with Disability Education Act, is supposed to ensure that students with special needs get a free and appropriate education. Yet the rates of graduation for this group lag other students. When it comes to proficiency ratings on math and reading, the gap is much wider. Their parents often struggle to find the resources their kids need to achieve their full potential. Many have evolved into advocates who help other parents fight for children's rights within the educational system. We have to get back to this place where we, we really sense that our voice and who we are as people in a community um, is, is vital to speak for those who can't, and that's the children. Statewide, students in special education, which includes those with disabilities and those who are gifted, number 45,000, about 14 percent of all those enrolled in public schools. In Albuquerque public schools, they make up about 16 percent of the student population. For us as teachers, we really want to make sure that kids have a chance to succeed at whatever level they are and try to improve those outcomes. Our expectation as parents is that she will be a contributing member of society. And for her to achieve that, she needs a lot of support along the way. But she deserves an equal opportunity to be able to learn in the classroom. I think that if we continue to raise the bar, then they do better. Not challenging them at the right level is one of the biggest opportunities for failure that we have. Many parents are worried their children with special needs will not graduate, and that makes them fearful for their children's futures once they leave the education system. Unemployment rates for those with disabilities is consistently higher than those without. What are we giving to these children when they do drop out? And where, where is their place? Because I can tell you prisons are really defining a place for them, and that's where they're going. If we don't invest in them now, if we don't plan for what their needs are now, then we will be spending a lot more financially long term and we won't have the best outcomes for them to be successful and be contributing members of society. I really hope that what can happen is that we, we raise the level of compassion inside of people so that they recognize that it's not an isolated issue. This impacts everybody.